Thank you guys for everything. Honestly, when I say that, I mean it. Players close. Huh? Yeah. You're not coming back then. <laughs> How's Alabama baseball doing? Anybody know? <laughs> what? Yeah. Weather delays? Yeah, I've had lightning delays on my phone all day. I gotta pull it through. Sorry? Yeah. Tara, thanks for being here. They're not looking for me. <laughs> One of the coolest things that happened this year that has not happened before is we had a uh, I'm not sure if they were state troopers or Oklahoma City policemen, but they escorted us from our hitting facility to the field. And uh, I felt like the King of England. I'm sure the, the players felt like the Queen of England, but it's one of those little things that has happened in Omaha, which is great, but it never happened here. So when, that, when things like that happen to a women's sport, it means something. And we thanked every one of them, and they were happy to be there, and they were excited to do it, and um, it was just a cool thing to get to meet them, and we got here on time, thank God, because I was worried. Because <laughs> probably get out of the way, Chase. Can't go see if they're where they're at, please. You're right. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and get started. A reminder to please silence your cell phones, and then when you do get a, a the mic to ask a question, please give your name and affiliation for that question. We'll start with a statement from Alabama head coach Patrick Murphy, then go to questions for Alabama players Montana Fouts and Ashley Pringy. They will then be dismissed, and then we'll go back to questions to Coach Murphy here. So if you have a statement. Thanks, go Nate. Ahead. I just want to, again, reiterate our thanks to everybody that put on uh, the greatest show on dirt and everybody from the NCAA softball committee. You guys have upped the ante tremendously. So we absolutely love our NCAA rep, Miss Kiana, and you better be here next year because we will be. But you're a pleasure to work with everybody. Uh, and I know, you know, you do it for nothing. And it's a long time commitment for everybody on that committee. So we really do appreciate what you do for us. And just everybody in Oklahoma City, you know, our hotel was terrific. Everywhere there was signage with the College World Series logo. And, you know, there's a lot of people downtown Oklahoma City. And when they see that sign on the doors of the hotel, if there are any softball players, they come around because they want to see these two and get autographs. And I think that's a tradition that's starting to really uh, come about here, similar to Omaha. 
the two young ladies from Stanford that are, you know, on the mound are terrific. It's a terrific duo that they have there now, and they're just tough to square up, and kudos to them. But, you know, I don't think anybody gave us a shot in hell of being here once Montana went down in Fayetteville. Um, I can't say enough about our, our team doctors, uh, Dr. Lyle Kane, Kevin Wilk, the PT, Dr. Brett Bentley, AC Atinka, our athletic trainer, and everybody that helped um, nurse her back to what she was. And I am going to miss all of our seniors uh, tremendously. You know, I always say you, you must have the bigger picture in mind in athletics because there's only one team, one team of 307 that gets to raise the trophy. What do the other 306 hold their hats on? There has to be something else, right? And it's the love for their teammates, the love for their coaches, the love for their staff, the love for the game. The, you're playing for something so much bigger than yourself when you play for Alabama. They're now going to be friends for life of mine, whether they like it or not. Anytime, any place you need me, they can call me. And, and it's, it's the alumni, they can't wait to get the graduated seniors into the Bama U Club. And I know that they're excited about that. But there has to be something bigger than just a trophy. And thankfully, we have that at Alabama. Questions for players? Right here, second row. Montana, just uh, what did your career at Alabama mean to you? And I know it's kind of hard to reflect, but if you could reflect on uh, just how you're feeling right now and looking back at your career. Sure. It's tough. Um. Ooh. <laughs> like Murph said, um. Ooh. Just give me a second. I, I'll get it out, I promise. Uh, these people are my everything. They really are. Um, I couldn't have asked for a, a better place to spend my dream. This has always been my dream. And I will have people for the rest of my life, so I don't even have the words. I and mean, I don't know if I ever will be. I don't know if I'll ever have the words for this, what, this place and what Murph and the coaches and these teammates mean to me. I have a home. More questions? Front row left or right? Montana, congratulations on a great career. Too, we've heard this, this postseason this week from other coaches and teams kind of praising what you've done, not only for Alabama, but what you've done for the sport. You know, hard to contemplate that right now, but what, do you, what has that meant to you in hearing that the last couple weeks? You know, I've been thinking about it a lot recently, and um, I didn't start playing the game of softball just to win a national championship. I started playing to because I love it. I love the game. I love the the struggle that it brings me sometimes. And I love, like Murph has always, Murph has taught me to be an overcomer. And I, I love that. And I love that about our team. And I love the memories. And I love my teammates. And I love that it's brought me a family. I, that would have been great. But I've won in life. Front row left. Chase Goodrell with the Tuscaloosa News. Ashley, in your last at bat in the six, you go after that pitch for strike three that was up in the zone. What was your mindset there to swing for the fences? It's one nothing. This is the last crack here. Um, honestly, I wouldn't say I was swinging for the fences. And I think my goal in that at bat was just to make her throw a lot of pitches because obviously she's a really good pitcher. Um, she has all the accolades she has for a reason, and we knew that. Um, and so I was just thinking. I'm not going down without a fight. And so whatever it took, I was going to scratch and claw. And I don't know how many pitches it ended up being in that at bat, but that was my goal was just fight. Third row left. Katie okay, Window, Bama Central. Uh, questions for both of y'all. First for Ashley. Um, for you, what does this program meant transferring in two years ago, especially kind of y'all's group of super seniors? And then for Montana, <clears throat> sorry, it looked like Murph came out and gave you the opportunity to have a curtain call and you turned him down. Why did you do that? <laughs> Um, oh, man, that's hard. 
I guess kind of like both of them have said, this is this has been the most incredible experience of my life. Dang it, I was doing good, man. I was doing good. Um, they truly taught me to find joy in a game that I never thought I could love again. From day one, they welcomed me with open arms and loved me more than I'll ever believe I deserve. And for that, I could not thank these two enough, but I can't thank the other, um, how many, 19 girls um, in there. They gave me a family, and they, they truly like filled my life with joy in more ways than they'll ever know. So this program's meant everything. Second to last for players right here. Uh, Matthew Gibson, Bama Central. Uh, for both players, faith really seems to be a backbone for both of you. If you could just entail what that looks like in your life, in your softball career, and now as you begin to move on from Alabama as a player. Ashley, you can go first and then on down. Yeah, um, I would say to even be here has been um, completely my faith, completely Jesus, because I went in the portal with no ties to really anything and just kind of took a leap of faith in that moment to hope for something better. Um, and I just prayed, like I've said before, for a place that could give me a platform for something bigger than myself and a place where I could be welcomed for who I am and regardless of what I ever do on the softball field. And so I just had that trust from day one, and it led me here to these people. And like I said, it was more than anything I could have ever dreamed of, and it's every answered prayer that I could have asked for. So it's my faith, like you kind of said, daily has just been something that keeps me grounded and keeps me humble to be where I am. I mean, that's. I feel like I'm... Faith is us. We we have that, and that's we are who we are because we have that. And I've been blessed beyond measures, and not just opportunities or wins or anything like that. I've been blessed with the people, and I have faith because these people make me have faith, and they show me that there is a bigger picture, and there are things outside of life and softball, you know. So. I'll never ha- stop having faith and trust. Okay. Last player question right here. Wait a second. To answer your question <laughs> about the curtain call, I feel like I wouldn't change a thing. No. I would take any second to be out there. Um, home run or not, I love playing softball, so. I won't change a thing, and I feel like Murph knew that before he ran out there that I wasn't coming out of the game. But I wouldn't. I would never take a pitch off from playing the game with these girls. Sorry, Evan. Uh, for both Ashley and Montana, when you think back to this team years from now, what what adjectives would you use to describe this team and your uh, your participation your participation on this team? Ashley can go first again in Montana. Um, there's a lot of things. It's honestly kind of hard to describe all aspects of this team with a couple adjectives, but the first one I would say is family. These girls, kind of like we and her both said, they're our worlds, and they are the most amazing, energetic, goofy, fun, like literally anything you could use to describe a person. So that's what these people are. Um, but the team in a whole, as a whole, um, in this tournament and in the season, I'd say resilient because from day one we got punched, and I think we never stopped fighting back. And that's something that's kind of defined our season, and that's something in these girls that you can't teach grit, um, and that's something this team has and these coaches have. We're a lot of things. I feel like we're we're goofy, we very faithful, we are resilient, and we all have grit. But to me, this team's love, and that's what I'm going to remember the most, and that's what we're going to have 50 years from now. Thank you, Ashley Montana. You can keep your name hey. in there, by the way, if you like Thanks. as well. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right. Questions for Coach Murphy? Third row left right here. Murph, did you know that that's what she was going to say when you went out there? Yeah, I, I figured that's why I ran. Because <laughs> that was, you know, the old uh, um, Jerry Maguire when the gentleman is on the ground and he's injured and he starts to hear the roar of the crowd and he's like, wait, 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 wait. And he wants to, I didn't think she'd want that. So that's why I ran and then I ran back out because she's like, no, that's good. So I figured that was going to be the answer. Okay. Front row on the right, right here. Um, 
the gallery of death dot com. Mara Fire was here yesterday about what seeing team bonding looks like, how do you create that bond? I think we just saw it up here. What does that mean to you to kind of see that interaction and yeah, not gonna get you to cry again. I know. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Um, it's it's getting harder and harder to coach like kind of the way I want to just and this team allowed me to do it again you know I, I, I tell them at the beginning of the year we're going to take the seniors on a magic carpet ride and everybody's going to do it for them you know and we're going to end up here and it's a magic carpet ride for the, the senior class but they gave me the magic carpet ride this year because they bought in they paid attention to the little things they paid attention to the details um, they were great teammates they were coachable uh, they showed grit I mean and that and you know you just don't get that very often nowadays you don't get role models you know role models for other kids they are that's what's so cool about it you know and I just absolutely love that they brought back that sense of um, for lack of words, it's Bambi U. It's just been our tradition to be like this, and they brought it back. So I'm really, really happy. Um, you know, there's no such thing as a bad day at the World Series, so I'm I'm a happy guy. Front row left. Chase Goodbread, Tuscaloosa News. Coach, you mentioned, I think, a couple of days ago, uh, not to put words in your mouth, but something to the effect of this being the most gratifying season you've had as a coach. Um You've been here before. You've gotten further than this. You've won the whole thing. What was it about this team that, that makes you feel that way? I just think, you know, overcoming so many things, losses. You know, I don't know what it was. You know, that's probably the most losses we've had in a season ending here. But they didn't give up. You know, they, they did show grit. They showed resiliency. They showed a growth mindset. And, you know, you can preach it and preach it and preach it and preach it and say it over and over and over. And a lot of times they don't do it. This team did. That's what was so gratifying. You know, they were coachable, just really good attitudes. I can't even think of, like, I was trying to think of, like, the worst thing that happened this year. You know, there's always things that happen. And I couldn't even think of one problem that we had, you know, off the field. You know, the biggest issue was her injury. And that's just, that's going to happen, unfortunately. But... They were just a really, really fun team to coach. It's probably why it was so gratifying. Second to last question right here. Katie Wyndham, Bama Central. Why is Montana Fouts a player that's worthy of a curtain call, and what has her career meant, not just to Alabama, but the sport of softball? She has just been, number one, her, like she said, she just loves the game. She does. She absolutely loves all of it. You know, there's this, I've read this thing about give me all the feelings. Give me, give me anger. Give me upset. Give me happy. Give me sad. Give me um, all the feelings. That's what she wants in softball. Give her the heartache. Give her the triumph. And she's been like that from day one. She has, you know, the, the most competitive spirit I've seen in a pitcher that wears the A. I mean, it's she's come through time and time again. And you guys know this who cover us, but she can talk to an 80-year-old as easily as an 8-year-old. Not many kids can do that. Not many teenagers, not many college kids, not many adults can do that. She can. She makes everybody feel special. She takes her time with everybody. It, she's just uh, she's an icon in the sport. And I hope to God that... She gets to wear the USA uniform in 2028 in L.A. because I think that's the next time it'll be in the Olympics. But she will be she will be on the cover of every newspaper, every magazine, you name it, on the way up to the Olympics in 28. Guarantee you. Because she's not done with the sport by any means. So you're going to see her for a long, long time. Any more? Right, last question. Sorry to end on more of a down note. But <laughs> oh, gosh, great. I was like, got Don't shut- make me cry, Katie. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, more game-related. Um, got shut out for the first time this season. Obviously, scoring runs was 
kind okay, of an issue Debbie. sometimes this year. <laughs> Damn. Um, but would with you know we've talked some this year about the possibilities of adding assistance or whatever. Would getting a hitting coach be a possibility in the future? Yeah, um, I've already been told by my bosses that we will be doing that, which is really cool for us and the sport. So we'll get to add. Now we did have a volunteer coach. Don't get me wrong, but that. Now that person becomes a paid assistant coach, which is now legal on July 1st. So, you know, I'm very excited about that. I'm very excited about the kids we have coming in. Um, we have a pitcher from Phoenix that was excellent, Jocelyn Brisky, righty righty. We have Jenna Johnson's little sister, Lauren Johnson, who was in the crowd today. Fast, righty righty, got some pop, really good base runner. Uh, we have a JUCO first team All American and Kendall Clark, um, who's was a, like a seven sport athlete in the state of Iowa, but decided on softball in junior college. And um, you know we're going to add probably a couple um, here in a couple of weeks because now it's um, off season recruiting time in the portal. Uh, we'll probably have at least two more that will join us. So I'm I'm really excited about everybody, and um, uh, hopefully we'll be back. But again, thank you. Thanks to everybody here, because uh, it does mean a lot to the sport when you, you guys are here and you cover us, because that means people are going to read what you write, and they're going to think it's a special sport, which it is. So thank you very much. Thanks, Coach Rob.